Hello everyone. I was recently gifted Desperados 3 and I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Before I give my thoughts on it, I do want to point out their main website. It does say play, uh, play five unique characters, uh, with each with a very particular set of skills. In the screenshot, they already spoiled two of it. One and two. Knowing that, I'm going to say that it's going to be fair to use melee and uh, ranged keywords as it's already shown. Um, okay, with that in mind, while Desperados is an interesting game, it does have a lot of problems. Perhaps the biggest problem is lack of connection. And there was times when I was in a mission and I was telling a character to melee and it would not melee as many times as I clicked on it. It was because of that uh, the mission ended up failing. It's annoying to me when uh, a mission fails because the game would not register or connect um, the dots. On top of the uh, character's not connecting at times with the target. Um, another issue that popped up is just how repetitive the game is. On any of these characters, use their skills over and over again to a point where it's pretty much almost the same strategy each and every single mission. The enemies are also the same as well, each mission, so it's just repetitive all around between your character and also just the enemies. Um, when I did Google this game uh, before its launch, it was saying that it was a stealth action game, and I don't see it as such. This game makes it way too hard to stealth. Way too hard. There's missions where the alternative approach is covered by enemy cone of vision. If there's not an alternate approach, well, then the enemy has cone of vision on every square inch of the approach. It just makes it so dang difficult to really have an alternative in this game. This game is always going to be about brute force, just killing literally everything in the way. That's the only way that I can see of to finish these missions, is just kill everything. Um... On that, I do think that um, the guard patrol stuff is also just overkill. I mean, there's just there's just so many guard patrols um, once you do alert the enemy and stuff that it's just it takes too long to do a mission effectively. Um, I would say. Another issue of this game is um, in, I guess you can say, the maps themselves. Um, some of the maps don't have enough alternative routes. Some of these characters have unique ways of getting about the map, but... A good chunk of the maps that you go through don't give you that option. Okay, with all that out of the way, um, I'm sure I probably could say some other things, but it would be too spoilery. So let's just go ahead and sum it up and, and tell you what I, what I think about this. At $50, I don't think Desperados is really worth it. At $30, I could see it. This game is just... It's got so many problems that um, I don't see it as worth $50. I think it's an okay game for, you know, passing the time and having a little bit of fun, but not at $50. This is more, to me, a $30 game. Um, maybe $40. i will I'll say pushing, pushing it would be $40, but $30 would be ideal. So, um... I want you all to formulate your own opinion on this, but that's my opinion on it. Um, 
perhaps if you want to just wait until Desperados is on sale. Um, that's how I would handle it. That's the most I have for now. Thanks for listening.